Greetings, members and friends of the Wiper Lake United Methodist Church. On behalf of Senior Pastor Bill Eves and the worship planning team of the church, I'm sending this video message to let you know about a change in the way that in-person worship will be offered this coming Sunday, November 1st, 2020. Sunday is All Saints Day. Our original plan was to offer an in-person service that would include pre-recorded music, prayer time, scripture reading, and a message along with special remembrances and celebration of the lives of loved ones who have died in the past 12 months or so. This service held annually is an important way we can express our sadness and grief together and offer each other comfort and healing. Unfortunately, a deteriorating situation with the spread of the coronavirus has caused us to rethink offering a service where a large group of people gather and spend more than 30 or 40 minutes together in the same space. This is one of the most significant ways the virus can spread, even if we are following all of the required safety protocols. In making this decision to offer a different worship experience, guidance was, provi guidance was provided by uh, the following organizations. First, many months ago, the Minnesota Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church published guidelines for churches, which included a phased approach to reopening buildings and regathering of people during the pandemic. There are five phases. First is red. This is the most restrictive phase, recommending closed facilities and no in-person gatherings of any kind. Orange recommends a continued suspension of in-person worship with slow opening of the facilities to accommodate very small groups of people meeting for classes, etc., while following strict protocols for mask wearing and social distancing. Yellow recommends ongoing reopening of small groups and stringent protocols for offering in-person person worship services. Blue, with low and decreasing COVID-19 infection rates, Churches are permitted to begin regular in-person worship with social distancing and mass, offering communion during worship, as well as resumption of ministry with children's. Green, COVID-19 is no longer a threat and all the restrictions are lifted. The plan has been set at the yellow level for many months, offering churches a chance to get up and running again. But a couple of days ago, our Bishop, Bishop O, dialed back to the orange phase upon the advice of his COVID-19 advisors who are closely monitoring the community situation. Secondly, the White Bear Lake uh, School District announced this week that beginning November 9th, middle and high school students would be moving to distant learning only to slow the spread and to reduce risk to teachers and other staff and students. And third, the Minnesota Department of Health announced that daily and seven day average positivity rates were increasing well above the threshold of 5%, which is deemed important to control the, uh, the spread of the virus. For these reasons, and with the health and safety of all people at the forefront, we will offer an alternative worship service on All Saints Day. Here are the details. The church, narthex, and sanctuary will be open on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., 1130 a.m. During this time, individuals or members of the same household or family will be invited for a personal time of prayer and candle lighting at the front of the church in the chancel area. Pastors Bill and myself will be there to greet each person group to offer a prayer and blessing before the candles are lit at which time you'll be asked to depart the sanctuary so that others can have the same opportunity. Anyone grieving at this time is invited to participate. Some of you have lost a loved one that will be included in our remembrances. Some have lost a loved one unknown only to you. Many are grieved in tremendous loss of life from COVID-19 and the general tragic state of affairs in our communities. If you are grieving and seeking comfort, you are welcome here. It is not necessary to make a reservation to attend. You'll be asked for your name upon arrival, and you'll need to confirm that you are healthy and unaware of any exposure to the virus in the week leading up to Sunday. 
wearing a mask is required to participate and we will have social distancing markers in place in the narthex and sanctuary there will be a host available to guide you through the process when you arrive and of course we will still have our 10 a.m online all saints day service available as well during the online worship we will be remembering friends family and members of our church who have passed in the last year we have extended the time for this in-person alternative service to 11.30. So those who would like to worship with us online can do so. Then come to the church for this alternative service as well. This might not be what you anticipated or desired for All Saints Day celebration and remembrance. Things are changing constantly right now and our prior priorities has to be the safety and the health of all people. We are sure this will be a very meaningful opportunity for you, even though it is different. Finally, please watch Church Communications in the coming week for any announcements regarding future in-person worship service and gatherings of group in church spaces. The Restart Committee meets this coming week and will be making recommendations for our church soon. God bless all of you and keep you healthy, safe, and warm.